What's the deal? What's the deal, man? Paula taking the podcast, man. We back again here at Rigor Morty Studios, down, located in downtown San Bernardino. You got all your studio needs, man. You want to start your own podcast? You want to interview? Hit us up, man. Check us out at politicianbroadcastingnetworks.com. Check out our content, podcasts on all age, every major platform. Check us out. So I'm here with the, the man... Introduce yourself. Rexy Rex. Rexy Rex, huh? <laughs> Rex Rex. Feel me, Rex, Rex Reckless, feel me. How you doing, man? Welcome to Rick and Mortis. So, you, introduce yourself to the people. What do you do, man? I'm a, uh, I'm a rapper from the IE, feel me? So, it's a lot of rappers from the IE emerging right now. What makes you stand out from these other artists? Sick. Uh, a trap rapper. Oh, so you do that 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 uh that drill music? Yeah. So, I never really got into that that type of like Waka Flocka was like the hottest nigga that did it to me. You know what I'm saying? Like Takashi Six Nine kind of made that that same type of music. Did you say your sound? I was a uh, I was more me? like on like Chief Keith, you know? Yeah. So yeah. It was more like that type of sound. You see what happened to Lil Reese, man? How you feel about that, man? I said, he living. That's what happened. But he, you think he'll ever be the same? He got hit in the throat. I said, we always gonna be Reese. I, I feel it. I feel it. So, what projects you got out right now? What you, what you dropping? Uh, right now, uh, I, I still got my mixtape out. I'm still trying to push that right now. Feel me, but, uh, Right now, uh, I'm about to drop a, a, a video, a music video. But, so the mixtape, what mixtape is that? It's called Jurassic uh, Park, but uh, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be, ch- like that's the mixtape Jurassic Park. It's, 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 I don't know, I thought it was, I just thought of that. And then uh, when I make the album, it's gonna be Jurassic World. Okay, so what's what's up with the Jurassic theme? It's not Jurassic, but it's not it's not it's spelled different. It's like S I C K at the end. You know what I'm saying? It's a sick world type shit. Okay, Jurassic World. Okay, so how you was just brainstorming when you came up with that? You know what I'm saying? I was in jail, man. (laughs) Oh man, when you're in jail, you got a lot of time to think, man. You got a lot of time to think. Yeah. So, what made you want to be a rapper? Sick. Uh, Chief Keith, that's one person. And then uh, I would listen to Earl, you know, Earl Sweatshirt. Yeah. He pretty dope. Uh, Shit. Since I was uh, young, I don't know, every time I was with my homies, we was always rapping, you know. Freestyling all the time, you know. But I don't know, like, one day it clicked in my head, like, because, like, at first when I was rapping, it was like, uh, you feel me? Because it was, I was really trying to be, I was going on that. I was trying to be a trap rapper, trying to sound like somebody, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Instead of trying to sound like myself, you know? And then one day I just had my own sit, my own flow, my own sit, you know? So this music video that's gonna drop, what, what's the song? Uh, it's called Whipping the Wrist. Oh, is that right? You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's called Whipping the Wrist. Clockwise or counterclockwise? Yes, yes, you feel me? <laughs> I ain't even thinking of uh, her. It's not even, it's a feature, you know? I feel it. But you know, I found the beat, you know. So you do a lot of features? Yeah. I do features with, uh, well, I call it my team, you know, it's like two people. It's one more person, but, you know, we do songs, but I do, I do, I don't do features with everybody, though, you know? Yeah. I do features, though, you know? But lately, like, uh, shit, it's, it, I can't just get, you know, you can't, I, I have to put money into, you know, studio time and shit like that, that and people ask for features, you know, for free and shit, you know, 
I can't be doing all that, you know? Yeah, it don't make it's no not sense. not free for me, you know what I'm saying? So you gonna pay to make yeah. somebody else song. You know what I'm saying? I, I get that. I can't do that. But collaboration, man, for the most part, does yeah, shed you, light on a, on a lot of different things. If you know them, you know? Yeah. If you know them well, you know who they is, because you know they won't uh, fuck you over and shit, you know? So how long you been rapping? Yeah. Oh, since I was 16, I'm 21 now, since 16. 16. So how long have you seriously been shit. rapping? One year, since June. Okay, no. so you fresh in then, and then you ain't even tripping. You you barely getting on your road. Yeah, you know, but shit. I don't know, like, I've been trying to, like, push it, you know, but. It, don't try to, don't try to push too fast. I'm pushing it find, too fast. That's I why, got, that's why Nip said it's a marathon, man. You got to find your pace. I'm making too many songs and, you know, dropping them, you know what I'm saying? It's not that you... You can make as many songs as you want and drop as many songs as you want, as long as you are advertising and marketing all of it. Yeah, it's it's don't hard just to... advertise this song because it's dropped and you ain't advertising your last three songs. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm, you know what I'm saying. Harder, so you know? it's a balance, you know. You gotta find yeah. the balance between releasing new shit and, got... and still marketing the whole shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm already know. So do you got like a management team together yeah. and you kind of just Me, do it yourself? I'm just independent, you know, low key. But uh, I, could, I could shout out uh, uh, my cameraman and stuff, LP82, you know. Uh, I got Tick, uh, Sam Sizzle, Craig Lick, that's it, you know. They're the ones who, uh, well, shit, I'm 21, so. I still ain't really got the real fundamentals on how to like record, you know, like I don't know how to record myself. Like I got, uh, what is that? Fruity Loops, I got Fruity mm -hmm. Loops, but I don't know how to use it, you know? I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to uh, do all that, learn how to make my own beat, you know? Yeah, yeah but production shit. is a whole nother thing, man. Like, you know? I've seen niggas make beats, I actually made a beat before myself on Fruity Loops. And this was like 2005, 2004. So Fruity Loops was real popular. I didn't know niggas still use Fruity Loops. Everybody be on Pro Tools and Logic now. Yeah, that's which is what basically been, uh, the same thing as Fruity getting Loops. getting my songs recorded on. Uh, on, on Pro, Pro Tools. Tools that's, yeah. that's like industry standard now. I guess everybody use Pro Tools with all the, all the ways, whatever that means. So like studio sessions, man. Describe the uh, the recording process. Like, do you just go in there with, with like a book ready with some rhymes, or you you, go, you you already got the beats picked out, or do yeah. you just go in there and vibe it out? I come in ready, you know. I don't come in trying to freestyle and shit, you know. I probably did that once, you know. Did you like the outcome? Uh, Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't really know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't know, cause every time I make a song, I be feeling like it's so old, like, since, uh, every time I make a song, Bluetooth disconnected, Bluetooth pairing, every time I make a song, it's like, you gotta, I don't, it's like, it's, well, really, this is how I make a song. It's it's easy to make a song, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, well, back in the day, like, that time when you talking about, like, how's the outcome, I didn't really like how I freestyled back in the day. So, you know? Yeah. Until, like, I really started rapping, you know? I started really getting on my shit. Like, I could really write a song now in probably 15 minutes if I wanted to, but... That's if I love the beat, you know? It's like what you hear into the beat, I could really... It's nothing, you know? So, type of my phone. so do you make, like, party music? Do you make, nah. like... I'm what a, is the I'm message? I'm a trap rapper, so, it's you know... What is the message behind the music? You I'm know a what trap saying? rapper, so it's like... It's, it's about the trap, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting it in. Real shit. I feel it. Listen. 
rappers be busy, man. When my like, shit real shit, like, you feel me? Mm-hmm. My shit be real shit, like, you know? Mm-hmm. So, so where are you from? You born I'm and from raised Medina. Now? But, okay, yeah. you born and raised in Ai then? I'm from Ai, you know? So, I'm gonna say, like, from the IE, like, I, I love the IE, you know? But, shit, like, everybody wanna get out this motherfucker, you know? That's just, I'm gonna I'm get out of here, you know? But I'm gonna come back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And get out of here, yo. I feel it, I feel I got it. to. I got to, like, I got to experience different shit, like, you know? I'm always seeing the same shit every day, like, you know? It's yeah, like man, I'm that in the shit, that shit, shit same do get routine, old, man. You know, same routine, 360, like, you're in the same routine, mm-hmm. like. And everybody you see like, is in that same yeah, routine. Yeah, even though everybody, you see a lot of rappers from the high, like, really, like, behind that shit, nigga, we, a lot of us is doing bad, you know what I'm saying, like, but, you know, it, it look like it, you know, but. I gotta work for my shit. You feel me? Real shit. Same here, man. I, I work. You know what I'm saying? I gotta really work. Nigga, I ain't forty, sixty hours a week. Real life. As, uh, niggas, niggas don't see that though. Don't see it don't it. matter about that. It's it's about maintaining. It's about you know what I'm continuing to, to chase the dream, and it's about yeah. capturing that momentum and staying on it. Yeah. And most of the time, niggas start to get some momentum. Start to start to get somewhere and they and then they quit or they, they take a break or they let life hit them and knock them off their path or, or they shit and that's why it's hard to reach your dreams is because you got to be working at it no matter what the scenario is yeah. no matter what you're going through no matter what life throws at you you got to stay consistent and you it's the fact because i'm a rapper so i gotta mix rap and work you know mm-hmm. i gotta you know it's kind of hard, like, y- y'all can't just be at work all the time trying to write and shit, like, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to be in a certain mindset you to know? be, like, rhyming Real. and rapping and shit. You can't just come up with flows while you're on lunch break. Like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't even gonna write. I'm trying to go home, like, <laughs> you feel me? I, I ain't trying to be at work. Like, That's the worst thing, home, is when, you, write. when you at work thinking about some other shit. You feel me? Then you be like, man, I really... Can't even be here right now. Like, I'm on my mind ain't even here. Mm. Like these jobs, man, it's it's, it's new slavery. Yeah. So Rex, man, who who you would say is your top five rappers right now in the game? Yeah, well, said what well, said number one. I ain't even right. I really listen to me, so you know, I gotta go with me. But okay. if it was other than that, like five, I mean, yeah, you can put yourself in the five. I can put myself in the five. Put yourself in the five, like you should. All right, I'm gonna put myself in the five, the number one. But uh, I gotta, I, I'm, I'm not really like that type of person. Like, oh, he, he's so lyrical. You know what I'm saying? That's why I fuck with Chief Keith, because you know he's not lyrical. You know, it's more like. It's turn up, you know. Mm-hmm. So I, I would always go with, you know, Cheeky for number two. You know what I'm saying? Number three, Earl Sweatshirt, you know. I fuck with Earl Sweatshirt. That shit. It, I don't know. It was one of his albums. It was a, I don't like shit. I don't go outside. Mm-hmm. Every song hard, you know. I fucked with it. Uh, number uh, four, Nas. Number four. Damn, uh, shit. Hmm, this one was hard. Do it gotta be rapper or artist? It could be an artist. It don't gotta be no rapper. Music is music right now. It's, a, uh, it's all one genre. Right before, because in my playlist, I listen to uh, Erica Badu. For me, I fuck with Erica Badu. Like, heavy. And number five, number five. Number five, five. I'm gonna gotta go with. Gotta go with sh- another uh, shy rat. I gotta go with Fredo. Fredo Santana. I go with Fredo. I, I never. I I listen to a little bit of shit, but I can never get into Fredo, man. I 
I got into Reese. I got into Little Mouse. I got into I the, the Reese too. I, I got into Sosa, but I couldn't really get into Fredo like that. I don't know why. Yeah. I fuck with uh, his walking uh, legend. That's it. I fucked with every song too on that shit. That shit hard. I was out of Chirac, probably Little Dirk was probably the most listened to nigga that I listened to from that area, that music and shit. I don't know. I I, I just really started listening to Little Dirk. Oh, for real? Yeah. Well, I'm a big French Montana fan. So when he did his little OTA, OTE, whatever, with, with Poke Boys, mm. that's when I first started to hear him. Like, oh, okay, this nigga hard. I see that nigga just, uh, didn't he just get caught on camera shooting some niggas or something like that? Mm. Lil Dirk, I think he got arrested oh, and got him on camera busting his shit. Oh, I don't even. He hopped out, did his shit, and hopped back in. I don't follow nobody that, that, follow, that don't follow me, you know? I feel it. I don't even follow Worldstar no more. Hey, Worldstar, man, I can't watch it no more, man, yeah. because... The way it portrays our people, man, it's like all we is ass shaking, nigga, fights, shootouts, That's niggas true. fighting over Popeye's chicken sandwiches, <laughs> and niggas they ramming mean, each other. I don't even be seeing did, did you try that Popeye's chicken sandwich? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the niggas See, that tried it, that's what I mean. I wasn't gonna fight a nigga for it, but I, I went and got it. I tried it two times. The third time, I tried to go get one. Uh, it was like, nah. The late, the lady was like, she don't even sell them on week on the weekends. Like what? Okay. What what kind of shit was that? I just wanted the spicy chicken. Like you feel me? So is like that fire? Do you 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 feel all the hype? It's fire, bro. <laughs> 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 They fight. <laughs> hey, them motherfuckers, they, they they all right, man. They, they not they not they not. You feel me? For I'm about four to dollars, chair at somebody, for four me? dollars like, though. I'm about to really sock this. You feel know I me? Mean? Like I'm about to go throw the uh, cash register at the door. Did you like, see the employee that that body slammed the white lady? Mm -hmm. It was the employee. Chicken? I guess she called him a nigger. Yeah. She called him a nigger or something. At Popeyes? Yeah. Oh, and then the co -work, the worker, like, carried her outside and, like, suplexed her, man. Oh, man. Like, she deserved it. <laughs> I like, oh, man. Yeah, she deserved it. <laughs> that shit was funny, you know. man. Like, I shouldn't be laughing at shit like that yeah. at this point in my life. You shouldn't be laughing, but, like, you know, like, what did she expect? Like, I that's a serious word. 2019, like, you running around calling people niggers, man. It's like, gonna she be was like my place. nigga. Like, we were probably laugh, like, But it would have been like some people like, damn, why she say that? But like, nigger? Damn, what? And she's standing in the middle what? of Popeyes <laughs> around a bunch of black people, what? too. She's going nuts. Like, she was tripping, tripping. She's going nuts. She, she thought nothing was going to happen to her because she was an old white lady. And yeah, she got her ass body slammed up. Yeah. That shit was terrible. I hate that I laughed at that. Gotta look it up. <laughs> that look shit it up. was terrible. Yeah, man. So, as a 21-year-old, man, how do you feel about the political future of your country? Because it's your country, man. It's your world. You guys are the future. So, y'all might want to start paying attention and, 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 and getting shit together. Because if not, these old motherfuckers is going to be running your world. And it's gonna be fucked up for y'all. When when you thirty years old and you gonna have some fucking eighty year old old motherfuckers running your country, it's gonna be real bad for y'all niggas, man. It's gonna be real hard for y'all to get some money too, cause these old niggas gonna be old and greedy. So you, know, you might want to start paying attention to what's going on in politics, man, and, and informing yourself. I feel it, man. It's like. <laughs> I can't even change nothing. Like they always gonna be the one that's. They gonna always run this shit. Like they own our money. Like you know what I'm saying? You see now, money, money is a different conversation, man. Cause money, yeah. money is a promissory note. So money is kind of something that's not even real. It's so they got us doing everything and chasing money, but money is debt. So they got us chasing debt. You need to chase capital. 
That's why we're in a capitalistic system, because capital is what you need to chase, not money. And capital is assets. And the difference between assets and liabilities. And they got you chasing money, which is a liability. You need to chase capital. And that's that's different little shit, man. It's wordplay. That's why black people don't like to get into politics. Is because it's a play on words that niggas don't understand. So you don't niggas don't be understanding what the conversation is. Maybe having basic conversations with big words, so that we can't understand or follow it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's meant to be confusing. It's meant to be misleading. A lot of the time. They be both saying the same thing, and you be cheering for one and booing the other. When they saying the same thing, you be like, wait, they not. It don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. So, at 21, are you going to vote? 2020? Mm -hmm. Okay, I've been voting. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I did that last vote. Okay, well, just everybody is complaining about Trump. This is your chance to try to get him out of there. What is his second term? If he wins, he gets another term. So you can, everybody can get him out of there in one term. If they come with a united plan and everybody does their part, people can, somebody can beat him, and he can be a one-term president. I don't remember the last one-term president that we had. I've probably been 40 years since we had a one-term president, but it can happen. If somebody could beat them out, but I don't know who's going to do it. Like, the Democrats be playing games, trying to impeach him and do all this other shit that's not going to be. What? They got a... Got a the top three right now is Bernie Sanders is number three. Joe Biden, uh, Obama's vice president is number two. And Elizabeth Warren is number one. Now Hillary? Hillary can't run again. She ran against Obama. <laughs> then she, she ran against really Trump. It's, it's a limit? No, but the, the Democrats been pushing her for 12 years. She ran against Obama. Obama won the Democratic nomination, and then he won the presidency. So you sat back for eight years while Obama was in order, next up to get the chair. As soon as Obama got out, he endorsed you, and you ran against Trump, and you lost. So you've been sitting there at the top of the table for the Democrats for the last 12 years. You can't run there again. She's had her turn, and she lost to Trump, and now you got to put somebody else. Elizabeth Warren is an independent. She's not even a Democrat. So I don't even know why the Democrats are pushing her to the forefront. Like she's even part of their party. They're just trying to beat Trump. So they're including her in their conversation. <clears throat> but it's like everything is just basically trying to get Trump out of there. They're trying to do everything possible. But oh, put forth a candidate that can actually beat them. And I think that that's a dumb strategy. Yeah, I could vote, but it'd be like, I don't know, like, a lot of that shit, I don't feel like we can get them out, like, because there's not a lot of people that's voting, and a lot of people are still fucking with Trump. But why do people want them out? That's the thing, is that because the rapper said, because YG and Nipsey made a song saying fuck Donald Trump? Like, because he won't let the Mexicans over the border? I mean, what what is the reason behind people's personal dislike with Trump? Because if you boil it down, then a lot of people, if you have a conversation with them... It's the racism, probably. Like, yeah, well, that's it. A lot of white people, you know, it's like, they look up to him like, he, I don't know, like it was. It's like everybody like they use the internet. I be this is internet. What I say on the internet, you know, mm -hmm. they talk about him like they saying like he probably called somebody a nigger or something, you know, just something. You know, it's always something on the internet. But 
I don't be knowing a lot of that shit. I just, it's just what, what I see and what I read, you know? So, I don't really like, I don't know, like the president, like voting and shit. I'm not really into that type of shit because that shit, it's not real to me. Like, I don't feel like. Um, you don't feel like it affects you? Because it definitely It do affect me, but I don't feel like my vote really means anything. Like they just playing you out like they're trying to make it seem like it means something, but it really doesn't. I don't know, like, I don't even know who I should vote for, you know what I'm saying? Like, see, now that's the problem, maybe that's why you don't feel like your vote means anything. You know? Because you don't know any of the candidates or any of the things that you're voting on. The information is out there and it's free. Yeah. Niggas, we all got their cell phones in their hands 24 the hours a, a minute. If you... Honestly, if you just dedicate 30 minutes a day to informing yourself about what's going on in politics, a month from now, you will be three times as informed as you are right now. And, and it's, it don't take no hours. You don't got to be into it. You can watch a 30-minute news show about what happened in politics for the day and just get the basic knowledge on what's going on because... A lot of the times in the black community, we don't get none of this money because we're not involved in the politics. So when the white nigga, the white man gets, he's sitting at the city council seat. He's a city councilman. And now they get $500 million and they got to come up with a budget. Because no black man is sitting at that table. When they decide to do with that money, guess what? Nobody's saying, hey. Let's take that for the Boys and Girls Club in the hood. Because we don't got nobody at the table even thinking about us that can speak or represent for us. So we sit here and we complain about what's going on, but a lot of times we're in a beggar's position waiting for somebody to come in our community and do something for us. And then if they come in and start to make it better, y'all say it's gentrification. So as black people, we got to sit back and figure out what is we doing? We can't keep pointing fingers and saying this and that, but at the same time, put on our knees begging them to fix our problems. If we're not going to fix our own problems in our community, including informing ourselves on these policies, because we are in a, the system. And the system is against black people because we're in, misinformed. So they could be doing something illegal to you. They might not even have jurisdiction on what they're doing, but you allow them to get away with certain things because the simple fact that you might not even know that what they're doing is wrong. And simple information will, will change the whole landscape of the way you approach scenarios. You're in a system called a republic, and a republic is, a, is not a democracy. And so I think that we need to pay more attention to what a republic is and understanding the system that we're under. We might, we, as children, we pledged allegiance to the fact under the republic and didn't even know what we were saying. We were sitting back, pledge allegiance to this republic, talking about we're going to war for democracy. We got to understand what we're doing, man, and what, what type of game we playing here in America because if not the black people are just going to sit at the bottom of the totem pole and we're going to keep being the, we're, we're the brokest in America but we're the top consumers so we spend the most money but we're the brokest and until we inform ourselves on why that is and how to change that and at least if some of that money if we're going to keep spending it putting it back into the black man's pocket instead of to everybody else's pocket but our own. We're the brokers because when we spend all this money, it ain't going to no black man's pocket. It's going to everybody else's pocket but a black man. And that's because we misinformed. So this is y'all future, man. And that's all I'm saying is make sure y'all y'all pay attention, man, and inform yourselves because they going to play this game and they going to keep playing this game. And eventually, you gonna play it too. But don't wait till you're 40 to play it. Because by then, nigga, they done already took half your life. <laughs> so you might wanna play the game. 
Mm-hmm. As soon as possible. Lord Jesus, say it. Yeah. As soon as possible. Say it. I've been really pushing since uh, since the six. I've been just like my uh, I mean, well, uh, descent. I mean, June. Uh, now uh, it's like December twelfth. That's gonna be like my third show. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you know, I'm really pushing now. I feel it. I feel it, man. Yeah. So, anything you want to leave with the people before we get out of here, man? Yeah. Where, where can the people find you at? Where can find your yeah, music? Yeah. See, Instagram, uh, my Instagram, Rex dot underscore dot salsa. But you can find me everywhere on all platforms, Rex Reckless. You feel me? And, uh, shit, tap in. I get at you. You feel me? Shout out the single you finna drop one more time. Oh um, my single, uh, well it's it's a it's a feature, but it's a video uh, that I just uh, did. Uh, it's called Whipping the Wrist. You feel me? It's about to be uh, out everywhere. You know what I'm saying? All platforms on YouTube too. It's gonna go big. You feel me? Oh yeah, uh, December twelfth. I'm gonna have a uh, I'm gonna have a show this coming up this Thursday. In- yes, sir, yes, sir. Politics and podcast. Yeah. Yeah.